What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to make your subject or your characters fit in with the colors of the background. Now as you can see I have a painting of a jungle here. This is the Equatorial Jungle by Henri Rousseau and then I have another painting over here and I'll show you how to do the same thing but this painting is called Lava Court Under Snow by Claude Monet. But let's jump to the jungle one so I can show you guys what's going on here. So as you can see, I have one of my original characters here. She's all inked and colored and everything. I did that in Procreate, exported it as a PNG, then imported it into this Photoshop document. But notice all the colors of this character. You see there's lots of saturated colors like yellows, there's pinks and blues and all that stuff. So it's really obvious that she's the main focus of this document. So what I'm going for is trying to show viewers that this character belongs in the scene, but kind of merging the colors of the character with the colors of the background. Of course, I could recolor this entire character into Procreate and export it into Photoshop again, but I'm not doing that because that's the hard way. But there's a feature in Photoshop that allows you to do that easily, and I'm going to show you what that is. So first, I'm going to take this character, I'm going to rasterize this layer first. Okay, and now we're going to click on her again. So having this character selected, I'm going to go up here to Image. And I'm going to go to Adjustments. And I'm going to go all the way down till I see Match Color. And then this little window pops up. So Image Options we're going to focus on in a minute. But let's go down here to Image Statistics first. So right here is a Dropbox that says Source. The source would be the Photoshop document that the layer is on that I want there to be a color reference from. So under source is going to be equatorial jungle and lava core under snow. But since we're working with equatorial jungle, we're going to click on equatorial jungle. And then underneath it will be another Dropbox that says layer. Which layer in this document do you want there to be a color reference from? So since I have my subject or character selected already, I want Photoshop to know that I want the colors of the jungle or the layer that's underneath it to merge with my character. So under layer, I'm going to click on background because that's where this jungle is, the background layer. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, there's a big difference going on. So based on all the greens that are in the background, they really kind of merge with the colors of my character. But maybe you don't want the character to be all the way green. So that's why you can come up here to image options. And then you can just play around with all these different toolbars. Right here will be luminance and that will be the brightness of it. And I have preview on so I can show you guys what each one does. So under luminance, zero would be the darkest, 200 would be the lightest. And then right beneath it would be color intensity and that would relate to saturation. How saturated or how rich do you want the colors of your character to be? Again, you can just play around with that. 200 would be the most saturated, zero would be very desaturated. So we're gonna leave it at 100 for now, but again, we can play around with this, so I'm not gonna leave it exactly like that. And then this last bar would be fade. How well do you want the colors of the background to merge with the colors of your character? Obviously, I don't want my character to be all the way green, so that's why I can play around with this. So I'm gonna take this and move it all the way over here. And now the character looks the way she did when I imported her into this document, but we don't want that either. So let's move it to about 50. And see, now the character looks half green. Because looking at the painting itself, it's mostly green too. And because we made my character half green, now she looks as if she fits into this jungle picture. So I'm gonna hit OK after being satisfied with all my changes. So let me jump to the other document so I can show you guys how to do the same thing, but with a different set of colors. All right, so as you can see, I have two characters here in this winter scene. Again, this is by Claude Monet. The painting name is Lava Court Under Snow. And now looking at the painting, you can see that it has a lot of light blue and whitish colors. Well, Monet was an impressionist painter, so he uses a lot of light colors in his paintings. But in this snowy and wintry kind of scene, there is bound to be a lot of blues and there's bound to be a lot of lighter blues. But now after looking at the painting, when we go to match the colors for my characters, we can expect to see a lot of blue colors, pale colors, desaturated colors, and things like that. But now let's go to see if our prediction was right. So let's select the layer or the characters, go up here to image, adjustments, match color, and then this window pops up. So first we're going to go to image statistics, our source would be which document, and now we're in lava court under snow, so we're going to select that, and which layer do we want there to be color reference from. So instead of two characters, we're going to click on background, 
and notice how the colors of the characters change so that way it matches the background. And like we stated, we see a lot of desaturated colors, um, some sorts of blues, and a very pale color scheme. So let's move this back up. And now we can play around with these image options. But first, I don't want these characters to be exactly inside the background. So that's why I'm gonna play around with this toolbar. I think right here would be a good spot because I still see some of the original colors of the characters, but it's also kind of merging with the colors of the background. And that's exactly what I'm going for. Cause I don't wanna to go too pale or too original. I wanna go about halfway or somewhere close to the halfway point, something like that. But now let's play around with some of these other toolbars. So here's luminance, color intensity. All you're really doing with that setting is making the characters kind of stand out within the background. But that was already done when I imported it at first. And now once I'm satisfied with my changes, I can hit OK. And here's what the colors look like on my characters after applying this effect. And now let's go back to the other one so I can show you guys what that looks like as well. You see? See how nice that looks? So that's why I like the color match tool because it helps choose colors for me. That way if I'm using one set of colors for my characters and a whole nother set of colors for the background, the color match tool helps merge those two colors so that way the characters or the subjects really fit into the background or scene which I'm creating. But yeah, that's how you do it. If you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I